Astroneer is a pretty chill game where we, the player, can drive through the air. But what's also in the game are a bunch of collectible research items. And if you're like me and you go, Ooh, what's this? Or, why do these look so familiar? Well, then this video is for you. Novice is Visania's moon, and it has a crater geological feature that is similar to the solar. Novice's ecology shares many similarities with its planet. It has an exotic biome, and it is populated with the same hostile flora that can be seen in Visania. There are a total of 8 research items that are unique to Novice, and each and every one of them gives off more than 1,300 bytes. You can find four of them out in the open, one with a bit of digging, and three that will take you underground. We'll start with the rocky surface research item. To find the novice grey pebble and the novice plush pebble, look for pillars and rocks that are scattered along the mountains and craters of novice. They are always out in the open, so just go up to them and pick them up. To find the curium rock, you need to have a bit of luck. The curium rock is not tied to any natural features in Novice. It is similar to the Jasper rock from Visania and the Master Cube from Kalidor in the fact that you can only find them on debris that are scattered over its surface. The curium rock is slightly harder to find compared to the Jasper rock, but unlike the Master Cube, you will very likely find it in your current save, as debris with tier 2 slots are much easier to come by. The rocky surface research items give off between 1,300 bytes to 2,200 bytes. And while the pebbles are designed to blend in with Novice's lunar geology, the Curium rock is designed to stand out with its contrasted, saturated colouring. Moving on to the organic research items, you can easily find the Novice blob in the tail tree forests of Novice. When a small tail tree grows into a juvenile, it secretes sap that will accumulate into the novice blob. After this stage, the tail tree will continue to grow into an adult tree, giving novice its signature exotic look. As for the novice blob, look for organic life that can give off research samples. This can come in the form of a tail tree, a spore sack, or a tower grass. So just dig below them and you will find it. The organic research items give off 1350 bytes and 2160 bytes respectively. Their design is not exclusive as they share completely the same appearance with other unknown research items. Hmm. Let's go underground for the subterranean research items. You can find the novice turquoise rock within the first two layers beneath the surface. Because of its bright turquoise color, it is very easy to notice it. To find the novice cinnabar geode, go deeper until you enter the first purple layer. Keep searching on this layer until you see a thin structure that give off research samples. Dig below them and you will find it. Finally, to look for the novice lotus geode, go one more layer down until you're right before the core. Look for cone structures that give off research samples. And if you dig below them, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. The subterranean research items give off the most bytes. They all give off at least 3000 bytes, and among their contributions, the Lotus Geo give off a whopping 8100 bytes, and it is also the first research item we've come across to have more than an hour of research time. If you made it this far, here's a bonus footage of what we discovered upon landing in Novice. Oh wait, was that a... What is that? <laughs> oh, Disgusting! Get, get it off my face! Get it off my face! <laughs> Guys, it's the zebra cube. Uh, I mean the zebra marble. Oh. And the last leaf no. for me. Oh my gosh. So funny. <laughs>
Then it's okay. You can, you can no. hypnotize <laughs> by it and then. Wait, so sorry. Ugly. Oh wow! What are the what are the odds? I'm getting away like from this. here, bye. Hey, don't, don't touch it. Oh. Oh no. You ruined its face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I broke the face. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you. Oh, oh. No. oh no. I fall off. Wait, I can fix it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now that you know where to find all the research items in Nopus, here's a ranking of their bite value. And here's my ranking of their design value. And to put them into tiers, I'll put the novice blob and the novice glob into D tier. And that's because their design isn't exclusive as they look identical to some unknown research item. As for the unique items, I put the novice turquoise rock into C tier. Although the turquoise rock has an interesting color, it looked tremendously out of place, as in my opinion, its colors is more suited for Glacio instead. For B tier, we have the pebbles for their simple, cool design. For A tier, we have the geodes for their unusual geometry and lack of shine. And finally, for S tier, we have the curium rock for its ability to distinguish itself by mere color. Not only does it stand out with its red radioactive appeal, it also managed to maintain its novice identity by following the theme of novice's design. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment below to share about your stories with these research items. Now that we have Novus covered, we can now add our collection of Novus exclusive research items into our exhibit. So stay tuned for the remaining research items from the remaining planets. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoy my content, be sure to leave a like and share it with all of your Astroneer buddies. If you want to see more videos from me, Consider subscribing and ring the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. That's it from me. My name is SandboxNate. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Did it. Right, I'm in. Whoa. Oh. Are you recording it? Yep, it's recorded. I can't even see my show.